everyone. I want to do a video just to tell you my last experience with Dooney and I was not a happy camper. I had my nano bag that I showed on here before and I believe I got it in probably around in June. I carried it for maybe a few days. I put it in my closet and then a couple months later, I went to get it out to use it and I noticed that it had little dark spots all over the front, the back, the sides, and they were bigger than a pinpoint and some of them were bigger than the others, but they were just dark spots. It kind of looked like something like maybe a greasy spot would look like, but it's been in my closet. I didn't take it out to eat or anything like that. I wasn't touching it. I don't know if it was part of like the oils and the leather that were coming through, <clears throat> but they were all over it. So I sent it back on October 26th. I mailed it out and it said it could take a couple weeks before I would hear from it. So I waited and finally I called and they said they did have it and they were gonna give me a credit because they said blemishes like that, I guess they're not covered. It has to be something that actually happens to the bag, like whatever, I don't know, maybe say the zipper breaks or something, but that wasn't covered. So that was something that didn't make me happy, but I understood. So then, she tells me that I'm only gonna get back half of what I paid. And I don't think that's fair because it took me, I did the value pay, so it, it, they stretch it out over a few months. So it took me a few months to pay it off. It was, um, I think they had a deal. I got it for maybe 219, it's a 328 bag. And I think I got it for 219, but still over time, you know, you make, I don't know if it's five or six payments. So they only gave me like 164, I believe, to put towards another bag, but you cannot use a coupon when you have that. Like if you're using a credit, you can't use a coupon because I guess it just takes too much off the bag. So I ended up getting another Nano, but in a different color because I do love the bag. I do love the style. I like the size, but I had to pay an additional 171. It was on I, it was on sale when I got it, but even with the 164 off, I still had to pay an additional 171. So when I went to order online, I could not do it. I had to talk to a certain representative, not the regular order representative that send you to a different representative and they were too busy. They was gonna call me back. So I waited, I didn't hear. They gave me like a ticket number. I called back again and I, I don't know if I got to order that day. No, I think they said they'd call me back. So finally it took like three days to even place an order. I was worried that it wouldn't even be on sale anymore. And they only give you a certain amount of time to use it, which I think was till January, which would have been plenty enough time, but I didn't know what kind of sale they would be having. And if this caller would sell out since they were on sale. So then, <clears throat> I kept waiting. I called two or three times trying to get a order number. I ended up getting two different order numbers, tried to get a tracking number. They never did give me a tracking number. And both of the order numbers were apparently wrong because if I tried to use them like on the website where you can look up an order number, it would say not found. And when I would call about it, it would say not found. So then, it got to the point, the lines are so jammed. I would call, there would be 36 people ahead of me. There would be 48 people ahead of me. And I didn't have time to wait on the phone that long. So they said, try the chat. So I tried the chat and it said they were too busy. They would try to get a hold of me. I never heard a word from anybody. So the payment came out of my account on November 29th and I was like really worried. I thought, well, what if they took it to a neighbor's house because we have a new mailman and that's been happening. And I was just really worried somebody else had got my bag and I could not get anything done with Dooney. So I was very aggravated. Never did get a hold of anybody this last time and I never did hear back from the chat thing that I sent that message through. So I never heard anything. And I'm the type of person, I like to have a tracking number. I like to have an order number. I like to be able to check on it and say, okay, it's now here, it's this far away from me. And it'll have a date, say expected delivery, say the 12th. And then I know what to expect. 
So finally today on 1217, after sending it back on October 26th, with all the waiting, I finally had my Nano and I ordered it in red. And I mean, it looks pretty. I don't see anything wrong with it. It looks kind of pebbly. And this is it, this is red. It's really super cute in red, but I was just so, so overwhelmed and aggravated with Dooney. And another thing, I ordered a bag from I Love Dooney. I don't know if they sell from like the same places, warehouses, but I ordered it on November the 19th from I Love Dooney, okay? This was after, quite a ways after. I think I ordered this on November 9th. So it's been well over a month to get this one. But on I Love Dooney, I ordered one November 19th and I received it on November 28th, which was a Saturday from FedEx, which really surprised me. And so I just ordered a Dooney, uh, let's see, the Dillon drawstring, and it said it would be here by the 24th. So, and I just ordered it today. So I feel like I Love Dooney is better to deal with than Dooney <clears throat> themselves. I don't know if they're like exactly the same or completely different, but anyway, I have done much better with I Love Dooney than the regular site. And so anyway, that was my rant. That was my total aggravation to get my little cute nano bag. But this just says Nano Satchel Red. This is the back of it. It looks like it has a little bit of a pebble going. And I really like the pebble look, but this, the front seems to be completely smooth. So anyway, I hope I have better luck with this bag. I hope those same little oils don't pop through and cause all of those dark spots. I try to watch other videos, but there's not too many on this bag. I really didn't look up a lot on the actual like Florentine leather. I don't know if it just does that but I have had a time with Dooney and with getting this bag. But finally it's here and I've learned my lesson. I won't be sending anything back to be fixed unless I think that they will in fact fix it and send me my bag back. Cause that's not even a choice. If you send in a bag, they won't even send it back to you. So you have to only get half your money back and you have to order and use that credit or you lose it. You get nothing back, which is ridiculous. You would just be out of a bag and out of money. So beware if you have a problem like I did and you have to deal with them because getting a hold of them right now is impossible. And I understand that if everybody else is having trouble like I have, I understand why their lines are jammed. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, bye.